Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Record, and I'm coming at you with another video review. And it's time to burn it down because today I'll be reviewing WWE Basic Series 92 Seth Rollins. And as you see, I have two different figures here I have the regular version, and I have the Chase variant. Which I was surprised when I found both of these figures side by side at Walmart. Because usually Chase variants, especially of basic figures, they're a little bit more trickier to find. At least in my area. But I guess I got lucky and I found both of these figures literally side by side on the shelf. I was like, I was like, screw it, I'm getting both of them. Anyways, um, as always, we'll take a look at the packaging first. Now each box is identical, so I'm only gonna go over the box, uh, you know, one time. Anyways. <clears throat> Here it is. Got Seth Rollins on the t-shirt there, which that's how you can tell which one is which, oh, which one's the variant, which one's the regular. Because this one has the Kingslayer shirt, and obviously in the picture is the Kingslayer shirt. Alright, Series 92, Seth Rollins. Of course, mine's a little bit damaged a little bit, but who cares because I opened my figure anyway. In the back, we got the other figures in the set. We got John Cena, Jeff Hardy, Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins, and first time in the line, Mandy. Mandy Rose. Unfortunately, they did not have any other figure from the set on the shelf. If they would have, I definitely would have gotten them, especially Jeff Hardy and uh, Mandy Rose. I really want that Mandy Rose figure, even though I'm not a fan of Mandy, but I still want to get that figure because it's a great figure. And obviously, because I'm a big Jeff Hardy fan, I definitely want to get that Jeff Hardy figure. All right, so that's just about it, you know, for the packaging on these two figures. Oops. Hands up. All right, so let's open them up and see All what right, we got. So here we have Basic Series 92, Seth Rollins. Open up and out of its packaging. Out of his plastic prison. Now, <clears throat> and I have to say, these figures are actually pretty sweet. Anyway, so let's take a look at them first. Anyways, here's the uh, regular version. Now, both figures have the same head sculpt as the uh, Top Picks Elite that I reviewed recently and the Elite 64. And I'm glad they used it. It's a pretty good likeness. And of course, it has the TrueFX uh, technology, which is not too bad, I guess. Some of them turn out better than others. Like, some of them, they just turn out horrible. But this one, at least I got a good one this time. Not bad. And we just got the Kingslayer t-shirt. Of course, he's got his uh, black wrist tape. And just like any of the new basics nowadays, no bicep joint. But he does have the elbow uh, swivel and the elbow bend. Nothing on the back. His pants are pretty cool, with all the silver and everything. That's pretty cool. And again, no ankle joint, which I'm actually glad they kind of got rid of the ankle joint because it helps the figure stand up better. Oh, my figure's very stiff, so I can barely move it. Sweet. But well, they actually molded, you know, the sleeves on there instead of like the old uh, figures where they would just paint them on there, but you could still, but they didn't sculpt the sleeves or anything, or they didn't even sculpt the t-shirt at all. They just painted it over the uh, over the muscle body. But at least with this one, they sculpted the t-shirt on there, which is good. And now here is the Chase variant, which has the shield uh, t-shirt. It's basically the same figure except for the t-shirt, which has, you know, um, you know, has the shield. Again, same likeness, okay, same head sculpt. Come focus for me. There we go. Now, this one actually looks better than the, uh, than the regular version. It's just the way it was printed. Like I said, sometimes they're printed better. Oh, sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, somebody's uh, doing something outside. I don't know what it is. Sounds like they're using a saw. I, I, I apologize about that. Anyways, we got the shield up there. We got, obviously, the hand sign with the three fists. Nothing on the back. It's a shame. Of course, the black wrist tape and the black and silver pants. The logo on the side. And the knee pads. And the boots. Overall, these are pretty awesome figures. Now, um, as you guys know, I don't get basic figures that much. You know, I don't know why. Ever since, ever since they took away the bicep uh, articulation and the ankle articulation, basics have gotten very less impressive. In my opinion, like, they're not as detailed as they used to be when I first started collecting. I don't know. Basics have just been very disappointing lately. But as soon as I saw these at Walmart um, a few days ago, I was like, I have to pick these up. 
And I kind of wish they would advertise the Chase variant more, but like if they like like if they like uh, did like Funko does with their Funko Pops, put like a sticker on it or on the packaging or something, uh, something like that, and it says like Chase variant or something like that. Like unless you're like a diehard collector, you know, like myself or some of you, then you'll know you'll know the difference. But some people they're like, oh, I didn't know that was a Chase variant or something like that. So I think that's what Mattel should start doing. You know, put but do like uh, do what Funko does with the Funko Pops and, and put like a a uh, Chase variant sticker on it, and it says Chase Special Edition or something. You know, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, Chase variant packaging around with me, you know, to, to show you what I mean. Yeah, but, but if you're a Funko Pop collector, you know what I mean. <clears throat> Anyways, overall, these are pretty excellent basics. So I have to say, if you're a Seth Rollins fan, I would definitely recommend picking up both of these figures, whether you like him as a single star or when he was a part of the Shield. So it's either or which one you want to get. But but if you're a diehard Seth Rollins fan, you know, like myself, you're going to get both of them, like I did. Anyways, excellent basic figures. I'll give these basic figures a... You know what? I'll give them a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I have no complaints about them whatsoever. Normally, I would complain about the articulation, but we're used to it by now. Like, every basic figure has that problem. But other than that, I give these figures 10 out of 10. So if you're a Seth Rollins fan, I would definitely I would definitely recommend picking up these figures if you can find them in the store, or if you can get them for a good price um, on online or some of that if you can't find them. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the description box below the video for links to my Facebook, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, Instagram, and also check out my good friend Josh's Toy Show's channel. He's the one who helped me out with this new editing software I'm using, and and the new intro that you saw earlier in my video so i have to say big thank you to my to my good friend josh for making that for me and letting me know about this new editing software that i'm using now which is the iMovie app and it's fantastic so shout out to you josh hey, go check out his channel if you haven't seen his channel what are you waiting for he makes great videos he makes WWE videos just like i do so check him out and show him some love by hitting that subscribe button on his channel so check it out link is in the description box below the video Oh, sorry, my cat's meowing. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.